Whether you know you think that they, they may turn it over or not, do we have to look at Barcelona now and see the pattern here and see that this club is not quite the force it was? No, it definitely isn't. Um, when I'm looking at their back three in the first half, Matthew, Umtiti and PK, I would suggest that that back three wouldn't pull in the top teams in the Premier League. I think the recruitment in that position over the last decade has been very poor to say the least Barcelona play a brand of football which means their back four or back three never very rarely get exposed we've seen from set pieces again tonight I can go back to Parkhead when Celtic exposed them at a set piece a corner they have to be on the they have to be bang at it to protect whatever back four or back three they play by that I mean the midfield closing down putting the ball constantly under pressure so the man who's in possession of the ball doesn't have a chance to get his head up and make passes they rely on that because the back three or back four, whatever they play, are average, and I include Piki in that. I think you put Piki into a, a mid-table Premier League team and you would be thinking he's a suspect defender. But that, that, that's one of the things you, you touched on there with the pressure. There was no pressure on the ball from Barcelona. Not in the first half. When, when, when we've seen Barcelona at the best, it's been from a back four and maybe that the front six that have been around them all applying pressure onto the ball and that gives the full-backs time to squeeze up as well. So they have left themselves so, so exposed at times, 2v2s, 1v1s, but the pressure that's on the ball, as Graham's saying, that you can't get your head up so you can't so make So why are they not passes. doing that anymore? I'm not the energy levels anymore. Tommy, it's, it's the same team. Two years ago, just saying the lads off air, the final two years ago, against Juventus, they won 3-1 and they were a bit fortunate. Juventus played very mm. well in the match. And we draw them one one in the second half. Barcelona and Messi did a very brilliant stroke away. Then they wrapped her up right at the end. So it flattered Barcelona. They were brilliant at times in the match. But Barcelona had eight of the same starting team tonight that started. And Busquets, Busquets hadn't been suspended. He would have played as well. He got nine of the same team two years on. Juventus only had two. Chiellini and Buffon. The rest of the team has changed. Fresher, hungrier, wanted more. Barcelona, a lot of them are around the 30 mark now, 32 mark, 30, 31, 32. Don't think they have that about them anymore, that energy, the hustling, the chasing, the pinning teams in their own half. And they're not good enough at the back to dominate games. They, they're 65% of possession tonight, but Juventus got as many chances and crucially got three goals. Let's go back to when they lost 4 0 in Paris. We touched on the start of the game where. Time and time again, and we showed the clips how they conceded the goals against PSG, where people were running at the back four, exposing the back four. That's because the midfield weren't at it that night. They don't have the same energy levels to get up and down the park. They don't press with the same intensity as they used to. And that, for, that therefore, that leaves the back four suspect at times. And these are not defenders. They yeah. go, they, historically, they've gone out for the last decade. The priority is, can he pass from the back? Is he good on the ball from the back? Whereas... It should be the other way around. You know, you're putting a cart before the horse. Can he defend? And if he can pass, if that's a real that bonus. Well. Can Umtiti pass? Can can with, with, only Piki? Yeah, Matthew exactly. can. Matthew can't. So the other two, they've got anyway, can't even come out. And step is, this, is this a case that they are uh, victims of their own success? And as Brian says, they 